Many people know and avail themselves of the usefulness of Evernote as everything from an application to store your pictures you've snapped with your phone to something that you can take quick notes on or throw a picture into in order to share with someone else. But I want to go over Evernote's usefulness as a tool for collecting and organizing articles. So more of an academic sense. So here's your typical Evernote interface, at least for the Mac. It's slightly different for the PC. This is the client side, what most people would spend their time in if they had Evernote on their local machine. But of course, you can also get to Evernote from the internet. So let's say that here you are and you're in a university setting where you're using their computers because only their computers are allowed on to access certain journal articles such as the case here and you want to find journal articles on say net neutrality so Let's find a full article, something that you would actually make use of in some sort of academic way. So most of them will give you the ability to do pages, PDF pages, or full text. Now you could do the PDFs and put them on a jump drive, email them to yourself, anything of that nature. But I propose that Evernote, if you put the full text of the article into Evernote, it is far more effective when it comes to not only reading it, because it doesn't have all the fluff of a PDF document for one thing, but also keeping everything straight and being able to reference it later. So let's say trustworthiness and limitation and neutrality. Sure enough. We'll go try this one out. Go to the full text of it. And simply copy this with all of the sources and go into Evernote Web and start a new document. Paste it in. And what I usually do, now on the client side version it does this automatically, but what I'll usually do is go in and make the title the title of the work. And then tags, maybe articles, and perhaps research. So you save and close that. It can easily go back to your client side, sync it up, and you'll quickly see that back on your client side machine. That to me is just a, a faster, much more effective means of getting articles from a restrictive space such as a university where you can't just plug in your own laptop, you can't access it remotely normally, or at least not access to all academic journals that the college is allowed to, to get to, is much more sound an option than emailing it to yourself or even saving the PDF in something like Dropbox or on a thumb drive. This way you still have all the information, all the sources, and anything too that was hyperlinked is going to remain hyperlinked. You see you have all your references right here. Those are things that might be slightly more difficult to come across in the PDF itself. And of course, being able to find it is a snap later on. I only have 26 articles in here, but if you were doing articles for an entire semester, you might have several hundred whereas you can quickly just use the search function and in just a moment it'll it would separate all of those out for you something that would be far harder to do if you're just trying to determine the nature of an article based on the title of a PDF or trying to fish through all of your emails when you emailed it back to yourself and hoping that you'd be able to find what it was you're looking for so there's just one more use of Evernote. It's a wonderful program and I found it quite useful for this sort of application. For more videos on computer efficiency, please subscribe to my channel, MacroGeek1 on YouTube.